Well, a very good morning. Thank you so much for joining in on The Buzz UG. Uh, my name is uh, Melads Milo, a.k.a. Fuller. And in case you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. And of course, uh, you know, uh, on a day like this one, I always bring to you the biggest stories of uh, the week. We have come to the end of uh, the week and uh, we're going to be looking at the stories that did make headlines this week. Yes, so it's what we're going to be looking at in this video. Otherwise, in case you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is uh, Melads Milo, aka Fuller. Well, this week, uh, Horrible Segirinya Muhammad, Kawempe North Member of Parliament, uh, requested the killers to forgive him. Uh, that is, if he has done something that has annoyed them. Uh, we all know that uh, uh, lately, very many people are living in fear uh, ever since Jaja Ichuli was uh, shot dead. Yes, especially bloggers. Yes, they are living in fear. They are no longer giving out their opinions. Someone uh, talks about something very carefully. It is uh, the kind of vibe on social media lately. People are scared. Yes, so this week, Horrible Segirinya Muhammad from Kawempe North requested the killers to forgive him. And uh, he said that uh, his children are still very young. Yes, his children are still very young uh, to leave them behind alone. And uh, he also said that uh, he's the only uh, breadwinner of his family. So he said if uh, he's killed right now, his family will be left behind with no one to support them. Yes, so he requested the killers, uh, you know, to forgive him if they have put him on the list of those to be killed uh, anytime soon. <laughs> Seginia Muhammad, very, very scared. But let's listen in to Honorable Seginia Muhammad uh, putting more light on this matter. Kumanya katondo no, anizo kuvanga nange tocha jita demu nzo. Lakati, echazi kwa yuseze, chuna de nega ilaba sanji yaba kubanti. Obwa na buto. Goma angu funye mwe, angu mbaku usindi seyo, ntigendo kubi. Ati nisi tuka yoba gaye, ntipa ne, we, 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 si se, tuiga, ega, nye, we kwa gamba, bakama ubo uba gamba, ntipa se, tuiga, ega, nye, kwa gana denda ajana, ntipa wana buto, atena kavamu kwa mela miyake, vidi, kwa gaba, funye mwe mtimo uwechi, sawe mbera mwe ulaini, e kubwa obabinga banzi jamu kubanga bananga basajje na kuzira bakambwe so chichankanze nengama anti mm, abantu bano atisi oyogera ko no bagaba nange nedda ko kadde musajja abajja na gani kati musajja yalaja nyetyo bwana buto otomanya izo chuse ekiro muganda wango kufate kuli ko gama anti sikutia muganda wange kiringa ne komera we bansi baba ntonga bawo za segiri nyanga ya vudde yalinga atide muganda ange miyake biliyo jimanyi mukomera sikutia muganda wange obula wofa obo ogenze Wana uwe busigala bukaba, ateria yamba, ateria kola chi, nuwecho. Uh, Nenita nduka nangu kula jana ngambala janira basa java. Waku banti bandange, nzugu jatisti, ebu tuka kusegiri nyatisti. Gamba anti wai tukule segi ndane, inga tuwa itukuchimye. Kwe gambo, mzasiri, wana buto, chechaba dechi ndaja nya. Well, there you go. Uh, that is a horrible Segirinya Muhammad uh, putting more light on uh, this story. Uh, he's very, very scared. But of course, we pray that he's safe. Yes, wherever you are, horrible Segirinya Muhammad, we pray that you are safe. Yes, God is a living God. You don't have to be scared about anything, okay? Now, in other news, this week we had another uh, shooting right there at Lumumba Avenue, uh, Mukwasi House. Uh, if you're coming from uh, Wandegia and you take that YMCA road, uh, Mukwasi house is just up there yeah so there was another shooting this week and uh, security guard uh, attached to the SGS security company shot himself dead you know some eyewitnesses said it was a suicide others said that it was an accident uh, here he had worked the previous night so I think he was trying to rest on his gun and uh, he shot himself here direct uh, under his chin and the bullet came out from uh, the head very unfortunate news we had this week and uh, of course uh, Kampala Metropolitan uh, Deputy Spokesperson of Police that is uh, Luke Owesijire came out and uh, spoke about this story. He said that uh, they have started the investigations into this matter. You know they're trying to investigate if it was suicide or it was an accident right there. Awo wenyini tufunye statement za mangu mangu okuva mbantu na kuota de no mukumi abadaze okuva ntina mudira mbigere okukumu uddo we misana okudu David agambi okuva ntina yasanzo mulambo go mugenzi na kuota de okuva ko sayayogedde tyawulide mundu we kokingibwa uh, era agenzo okuddamu okuzura munne wali nasanga anga mfu 
Well, there you go. That is a local waste jere. But I think after the death of that security guard, there was also another security guard who was found dead seated. Yes, who was found dead seated, as you can see the picture right there. Yes, yeah, so I, I don't know what is really happening with these guys uh, carrying guns. Just yesterday, by the way, just yesterday, uh, we received uh, reports from Mbarara that a uh, uh, police officer had shot dead a UPDF officer uh, in a barracks. So I feel like something wrong is going on. There is a bad spirit uh, surrounding these guys with uh, with guns. Well, this week we also had uh, the Minister of Justice and Constitutional Affairs, Horrible Nobat Mao, requesting President Museveni's government to impose a travel ban on uh, you know His Excellency Robert Chagulanyi Sentamu, aka Bobby Wine, the president of uh, National Unity Platform. We all know that uh, whenever Bobby Wine travels to the outside countries, many media houses come out to interview him. And uh, Bobby Wine always uh, puts out, you know, the bad side of uh, this government, the torture, the bad governance, you know, all the dirt in this government. Yes, yeah, so uh, horrible, horrible Nobat Mao this week requested uh, President Museveni's government to impose a travel ban uh, since uh, Bobby Wine's trips have actually put an effect on uh, the reputation of uh, this country. Uh, he also said that Bobby Wine shares images of uh, tortured people on his social media platforms. And uh, that has actually scared away tourists from uh, coming into the country. And very many people were questioning that, okay, should the point of question be about Bobby Wine or the people torturing? Should we focus on Bobby Wine or the people torturing? Who is the problem in this case? Yes, yeah, so it was a big story on uh, different social media platforms. Well, another big story over the week, uh, socialite Bad Black this week came out and uh, revealed that uh, President Museveni has invested 900,000 US dollars into the music industry uh, to fight Bobby Wine. And uh, this information comes after Bobby Wine re uh, released another, another banker with a couple of artists. And uh, this banker is titled Lavisa. He released it with uh, uh, Fefe Busi, of course, uh, teamed up with uh, uh, Nubian Lee, uh, teamed up with uh, Zex Binanchi and also another big artist, nice to be important, important to be nice, Mr. Dictionary Scissorman. It's a big banker, and of course, it is making headlines on a different social media platforms, especially right here on YouTube. Yes, so Bad Black came out and said that President Museveni has invested 900,000 uh, 900, US dollars into uh, the music industry to fight Bobby Wine. I don't know how they are going to fight him, but uh, that is another the big story of the week uh, of course uh, different people are giving out their opinions you can check uh, uh, social like bad black social media platforms and uh, you get to see what is happening right there about this story and finally, uh, this week we had uh, the judiciary driver uh, that is uh, Stanley Chisambida arrested and uh, later released. Of course, uh, the Kampala Metropolitan Deputy Spokesperson of Police, that is Luko Waisijire, came out and said that they just wanted him uh, to record a statement. Uh, Chisambida had uh, recorded an audio that went viral on a different social media platforms. And in that audio, he was telling how much he's earning as monthly salary. And uh, he was also uh, talking of how he would kill his boss in a tragic accident you must have heard that audio right here because i played it for you right on this platform yes yeah, so it was also uh, another big story but uh, chisambira is right now out of police custody well, finally, this week we had another big story. Uh, Stanley Chisambira, a driver attached to the judiciary, was arrested and later released. And of course, uh, the Kampala Metropolitan Deputy Spokesperson of Police, Luko Wesijiri, came out and said that uh, they just wanted him to record a statement at police. But of course, other reports indicated that police bowed to social media pressure because uh, everybody on social media was calling for the release of this gentleman, uh, Stanley Chisambira. Uh, Stanley was arrested because uh, he had recorded an audio uh, and of course in that audio he talked about how much he earns as a driver attached to the judiciary he said that he earns only 200,000 Uganda shillings and uh, he also talked about killing his boss and the bodyguard in a tragic accident he was very very frustrated and uh, that audio went viral on a different social media platforms yes yeah, so uh, Chisambira was arrested and later released and of course uh, Luko Wesijira said that they just wanted him to record a statement at police
Well, there you go. Uh, those are some of uh, the big stories that did make headlines this week. And uh, in case I have forgotten any other big story, you can remind me in the comment section. But uh, most importantly, make sure that you subscribe in case you haven't and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Well, those are some of the bigger stories that did make headlines this week. And of course, uh, in case I have forgotten any other story, you can remind me in the comment section. But most importantly, subscribe to the Buzz UG in case you haven't. And also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melads Milo, aka Fuller. It is a bye for now. Thank you.